Hey everybody, the nice people at Works Tools sent me this leaf blower to review. And as I still haven't gotten around to clearing the leaves from the autumn, I agreed to put it for its paces. Now, I've got a lot of Works Tools and they've always served me well, but more importantly, they take the same batteries, which means I'm not stuck with multiple batteries and chargers everywhere. Well, not really much in the box, just the charger, instructions, a decent sized battery and the actual blower. No assembly required, I was quite pleased to see. Unfortunately, the blower is shaped like some kind of space bazooka, so I had to do what any grown man-child would do and pretend to blast some aliens. Um, anyway, back to business. The battery is a high capacity 4 amp hour one, and as you can see, significantly larger than their standard batteries, but it doesn't feel that much heavier. The charger is the standard works charger, which I already have five of these chargers, and they charge things pretty fast. Uh, a regular battery in less than an hour, and their bigger 4 amp hour one in about two hours. I'll do a test later in the video to see how long it really lasts. Oh, and there's a bit of charge on the battery, which means I get to test it out now at 10 minutes past midnight. Controls are fairly simple. This little dial here is off at zero and gives you a low power mode at one and a high power mode at two. Wow, that'll learn any spiders who decided to set up home in my workshop. I don't need to sweep the floor now either. Now, does it work on humans? Fantastic, I need to go and find some other stuff to blast. No, <laughs> no, that would just be mean. So my old leaf blower was a pain, heavy and of course comes with a long cord that's easy to get tangled up in. This thing is so freeing and really lightweight and simple to use, so even my little girl can use it. Wait, no! no! In fact, at 5.7 kilograms, the corded blower is over three times heavier than the works one, which weighs in at just 1.7 kilograms if you include the bigger battery. So yes, your small child could use it, though she probably shouldn't. Now, I'm surprised that the power seems to be actually better than my old leaf blower. It apparently comes with something called air amplifier technology where it draws the air from outside the tube. Now, I think more importantly, it does have a brushless motor on there and it runs significantly quieter too. Now, on paper, the amount of air, so volume of my old leaf blower is about 400 CFM. Uh, that's cubic feet per minute. While well, works claim the same amount, and it certainly does feel like they're on about equal. Yeah. Airspeed, not to be confused with volume, is how fast the air shoots out, and the higher speeds mean a more powerful blast. And the little works blower can blast winds at speeds just under 130 miles per hour, while my corded one can do 145 miles per hour, yet is significantly heavier and restricted by cables. Obviously, we had to go and test out the hairdryer function. There is a sound level sticker on the end which says 96 decibels, but I've measured it near the handle and it's really quiet. Even at full power, it's certainly less than 85 decibels, not enough to warrant hearing protection for the short time you'd be using it. And as long as you're not blowing at three in the morning, giggity, you could get away with using this thing in the evening without upsetting the neighbors too much. The airflow adjustment I thought was a bit gimmicky at first, but no, pushing the nozzle out gives you a nice high air volume, great for pushing a large area of leaves, and pulling it in decreases the air volume, but also increases the speed, which is perfect for patches of wet leaves that need a little bit more power. And if you want to not bother with all that, you could just take the end off. It probably took about an hour to blow up all the leaves into neat piles so we could sweep them up and get rid of them. And check out these cool plastic hand things, by the way. Wolverine ain't got nothing on me. I promised a battery test, didn't I? Okay, it's on, and let's leave it going. Twenty-three minutes on full power, not bad at all. If I was actually keeping up with the trees in autumn, that probably would be all I needed, especially as you don't need to leave it on for that long, and... You keep starting and stopping as you go, of course, naturally. So how would I rate this? Well, I think it's pretty good, especially at its price tag. I'll pop a link in the video of where you can buy one. And yes, I do get a cut of the profit if you buy one, but it won't cost you anything more. And would I buy one? Yes. 
Um, I would buy one for sure, at least the bear model uh, that they do, because it doesn't come with all the battery and charger, etc., because I have a bunch of those already. This thing is perfect for a little garden like mine with patios and decking, and though works do sell more powerful versions that also vacuum as well, I don't think that's necessary for me. And yes, obviously it's not as powerful as some massive petrol thing that you need a backpack for, but it can be wielded by a five-year-old, or perhaps more sensibly somebody with a disability or the elderly. There's also a gutter kit available that you can just pop on the end and lets you clean your gutters out. Hmm, <laughs> Maybe I should get that. I'm probably a bit biased, as I do love Works Tools, uh, but it does have a three-year warranty of using it for DIY, so you can't really go too wrong. In fact, it's a ten-year warranty on the brushless motor as well. Now, if you did find this video helpful, or if you have any questions about the blower, please post a comment on the video. I promise I'll try and read and reply to everybody. So thanks for watching.